Ladies and gentlemen, Caesars Entertainment proudly presents live from Las Vegas, Tales and Ian, Gardens, Trivia. Please say hello to our contestants. From Rob Dog and Rob Dog 2, Rocker on the Park, here is the Red Rebel. From Now Now, Heroes of Your Heart, here is Now Now. And from the simple Florella, also my wife, here is Ellie Reese. And now, from the Flamingo Hotel and Casino Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada, here is the host of Tales and Ian Gardens Trivia, Tiffany Young. Thank you, Christian. Hello and welcome to Game 2 of Tales and Ian Gardens Trivia. This time, it is held at the Flamingo Hotel and Casino Resort in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have Ellie, Mau Mau, and Germer as our contestants today, winning the money. And now, without any further announcements, let's get started on the game. Question 1. For $225, when there are so many shows offered for free online, is there any reason to pay to watch a TV show on the internet? Ellie, is it yes? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Germer? Is it it depends on what you want to watch? That is correct. Question 2. For $450, what type of viewer is most likely to be content to watch shows for free? Ellie? Is it the casual viewer who's just catching up? That's right. The serious fan who isn't near a TV will need to pay to watch a show the same day it's on the air, and the new fan will probably have to pay to view an entire past season. Casual fans, however, may be happy with whatever is offered for free. Question 3 is a true or false question. For $675, if you pay to watch TV shows online, the quality will be better than if you watch them for free. Time is expired. The correct answer is false. Paying to watch TV shows usually allows you access to a wider variety of shows. It's about quantity, not quality. Question 4. For $900, for Netflix subscribers, which medium offers the widest selection of programs? Mau Mau? Is it streaming video? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Ellie? Is it DVD? That's right. Netflix is running into roadblocks in its efforts to buy rights to streaming content. The company's website notes that a wider selection of programming is available on DVD. Question 5. For $1,125 where can you watch Major League Games online? Mau Mau? Is it the Sports League's website? That's right. For nearly a decade, major sports leagues, such as the NFL, have offered exclusive broadband access to live games. Question 6. For $225, what's the biggest obstacle in measuring audiences for television shows online? Germer? Is it finding the viewers? Close, but no Pokemon. Mau Mau? Is it metering advertising? That's right. The Nielsen Company has placed meters on viewing devices for decades. The problem lies in measuring who has been exposed to advertising, since online programs can contain different ads from the same programs that run on television. <coughs> Question 6. For $450, what type of viewer should use search engines to find shows? <coughs> Ellie? Is it people looking for a show in a certain genre? <coughs> I'm sorry, that's wrong. <coughs> Anyone else? Germer? Is it people who don't know what they want to watch? That's right. Since most search engines will simply direct you to a TV network's website to watch a show, they're a great place for devout channel surfers who are looking for something new and interesting. <coughs> question 8, which is another true or false question. For $675, if you hate watching TV on your computer screen, online TV isn't for you. Is expired. The correct answer is false. Many TVs can be connected to your computer with a simple cable so you can watch on the big screen as opposed to on your computer screen. Let's try a new one. Question 9. For 
What's the downside of free programming on network websites? Ellie, is it too many commercials? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Mal Mal, is it some shows are removed from the site within a few weeks? That's right. While many shows online contain limited commercials, the main downside is that networks only make them available for a few weeks. Thus, the show's website may not contain a full library of episodes. Mal Mal, good news. You get to answer question 10, which is a bonus question. How much do you really wish to gamble? My max is $1,350, so I'll do it all. Okay, if you want to double your amount to $2,700, here is the question. Who would be a good candidate for purchasing Apple TV? Is it someone who wants to rent TV shows temporarily? Mau Mau. More good news. You're right. Question 11. For $225, careful if you drive too fast because you might end up feeding the bears. What does that mean? Mau Mau. Is it paying a ticket? That's right. Feeding the bears is a cute way to refer to paying a fine or a ticket. The bears are police, so when a cop pulls you over and gives you a ticket, you're feeding them when you get around to paying it off. Question 12. For $450, on a nice, quiet drive, you hear someone ask if you've got your ears on. What does that mean? Ellie, is it is anyone listening? That is correct. Question 13. For $675, what are you going to tell someone who asks what your handle is? Mau Mau? Is it what kind of truck you're driving? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Ellie? Is it your CB nickname? That is correct. Question 14. For $900, a trucker just told you to get in the granny lane. What do they mean? Mau Mau? Is it the slow lane? That's right. On most highways, the left lane is the fast lane, and the right lane is the slow lane. People pass on the left, and the right is where, no offense to all the grandmothers out there, the grannies do their driving. <laughs> Question 15. For $1,125, telling a friend you'll catch them on the backslide means what exactly? Germer, is it you'll see them on the return trip? That is correct. And that's a wrap of round one. Either of you are at a rough start, but gained much money as you should. Mau Mau, you are in the lead with $3,150, which is good news. Germer, you are in second place with $1,575. And Ellie, you are in third place with $900, and for this, we'll conduct contestant interviews before we move on. Germer is one of the musicians that Bodie finds interest in at Rock and Roll Park during his visit to Chaseville downtown. Germer, can you explain why? You know, Tiffany, I may be the most mellow goat around, but he can wail on a drum set like no other. Although he's often forgetful or mentally checked out, he can get along with just about anybody. Mel Mel whose last name is, well, you guessed it, Mao, is a righteous yet uptight cat who gets stuck in Pure Heart Valley where he spends time helping the citizens. Well, Tiffany, I'm a big little cat with narrow green eyes and black fur, with two whiskers sticking out from the side of my head. I wear a red cape along with a red sash on my waist, crimson gloves, and lead protectors. Sarah and Murphy is my caregiver. And that means you get your picture taken by her on rare occasions. Serena Murphy. Your caregiver will host Tales Londian Gardens trivia in the form of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire next time. I promise. And finally, Ellie Reese is a female polar bear friend of Villian Glacier. She's a very outgoing, high on life northern bear who likes going on long trips, eating, and of course, relieving herself as seen before. She is engaged to our announcer, Christian. I see, Tiffany. I like to cuddle and I am known to give the best bear hugs in Aurora Heights, ask Filian and all my other fair friends, they'll tell you. Also, I've been married to Christian, who is the announcer of the show, for 15 years. Well, your wedding anniversary is August 30th, 
less than three weeks from now. Which restaurant are you going to for your anniversary? You tell me after our game is finished during our post-game chat later on. Okay, so, without any further questions, let's get on with round two. And as always, dollar values are doubled in this round, so let's get back to the game, shall we? Question 16. For $450, a trucker has to pull over for a meat wagon. What does that mean? Germer? Is it a cop pulled them over? Close, but no Pokemon. Anyone else? Ellie? Is it an ambulance was going by? Right. Any driver knows to pull over when a meat wagon is on the way, but it's just that we don't all call them meat wagons. Meat wagon is a bit of an insensitive slang term for an ambulance. When the sirens are on, you should pull over and let them pass. Question 17. For $900, you might want to ease up on the gas if there are ground clouds about. Do you know what ground clouds are? Mau Mau? And I already know what it is. Is it fog? That's right. Ground clouds are what you call an accumulation of fog thick enough to be noteworthy. Truckers tend to look out for each other and can quickly communicate issues like weather with poor visibility to others who might be coming down the road. Question 18. For $1,350 do you know what a hairpin is? Ellie? Is it a curve in the road? That's right. You may have heard the term hairpin term before, and that's what we're talking about here. It's a sharp curve in the road, and it's dangerous to take at high speeds, especially if you're driving a huge truck that could risk flipping over. Question 19. For $1,800 what does it mean when you're doing a double nickel? Mau Mau? Is it doing two jobs at once? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Anyone else? Ellie? Is it driving 55 miles per hour? That is correct. Ellie, it appears that question 20 is a bonus question. So that means you have to answer it on your own. How much to want to risk for your 15th anniversary? I'll bet $4,050. Okay, Ellie, for $4,050 you're headed to the sticker patch. Where are you going? I believe it is Phoenix, Arizona, where I was born. I know you were born there, but you are right. Question 21, for $450, mud isn't just wet sludge on the road. What else does it mean? Mau Mau? And I already know what it means. It means coffee. That is correct. Question 22. For $900, your buddy just signed off for a 10 to 100. What's going on? Germer? Is it a bathroom break? That is correct. Question 23. For $1,350 another truck just let you know there's a free truck wash ahead. What's going on? Is it rain? That is right. It may not be the smartest thing you ever heard, but a free car wash is just another way to say there's some rain ahead. You can also tell someone that they're going to be washing their windows if there's a rainstorm. Question 24. For $1,800 if a trucker's skirts are flapping in the wind, what's happening? Ellie? Is it the tops came loose? That is correct. Question 25. For $2,250, if it seems like someone is boosting their CB signal, what might they be using? Mau Mau? Is it a kicker? That is correct. Question 26. For $450, if the hammer is down, what's going on? Ellie? Is it you're moving fast? That is right. Any reference to a hammer almost always refers to the gas pedal and speed. If the hammer is down, your foot is down, and you're going fast. Likewise, the hammer lane is the fast lane on the left side of the road. Question 27. For $900, truckers haul all kinds of things. But what does it mean when you're hauling fence post holes? Ellie? Is it tires? I'm sorry, that's wrong. Mau Mau? Is it nothing? That is right. Once you offload whatever you're shipping, then you have an empty truck, right? 
If you don't have another load to pick up, then your hauling fence post tolls, which is a fancy way of saying nothing. Your truck is empty. Question 28. For $1,350, where are you if you roll up on the parking lot at Wally World? Germer? Is it Walmart? That is right. This is not exclusively trucker slang by any means but often used by truckers because of its universality. Wally World is a slang term for Walmart because, unlike many regional stores, Walmart can be found almost everywhere. Question 29. For $1,800 you're hauling cargo across the country and decide it's time to go through the woods. What are you doing? Ellie? Is it literally driving through a forest? Not quite, because it could be very silly if you do that. Anyone else? Germer? Is it leaving the interstate? That is right. Nearly all trucks drive on the main highways and interstates because it's fast and convenient, of course. When you leave the interstate, you're now heading through the woods, a reference to over the river and through the woods. And finally, question 30, which is the final question. For $2,250 sometimes you get a tough guy on the radio so you might call him which of these? Mau Mau? Is it Rambo? Right. A radio tough guy is known as a Rambo, obviously after the Sylvester Stallone movies. This is a lot like what happens when someone talks tough on the internet since it's all done at a safe distance, and no one ever has to back it up in real life. And that sound means the round is over. Ellie and Mau Mau are both tied at $8,100 and Germer is at $6,525 in third place. It's time for the final round. Take this time to write your gambling amounts while I reveal the category and give out the golden rule. All right, the category for the final question is... Cars and movies. Okay, players, you have 60 seconds to write down the correct response to this question. Okay, you've heard the golden rule, right? Okay, here is the question to that category. For only $98,000 you can own your very own replica of the iconic Trans Am from what film? You have 60 seconds, starting right now. Okay, Germer, who is in third place with $6,525, let's start with you, is it Smokey and the Bandit? And you gave shoutouts to Bodhi and Dharma, which is nice. And how much did you gamble? $4,050. Bringing you to $10,575, putting you into the lead as we go to Mau Mau, who has $8,100 right now. Did you come up with Smokey and the Bandit? You did, and yes, you gave a shout out to your caregiver, Serena Murphy. And for this, you gambled $7,650. Bringing you to $15,750 and putting you into the lead. Okay, Ellie, let's go to you last, you also have $8,100. You came up with the correct response. And did you gamble enough to kick Mau Mau out of the ballpark? Just a simple $98? No, you didn't. That brings you to $8,198 and you finish in second place. And guess what, now now? I have some extremely good news. 
you have won Tayslandian Gardens Trivia Game 2 with $15,750. Way to go! Good job! Serena Murphy will be so proud of you! Jeremy will go home with $2,000 and Ellie will go home with $1,000. And, as such, Tatis Londian Gardens Real Estate and Elgin Siemens Late Night Audio, the creators of Tatis Londian Gardens Trivia, will be matching the winnings and donate $18,750 to Feeding America, the nation's largest domestic hunger relief organization. This location new host of Tatis Londian Gardens Trivia is at the Flamingo Las Vegas Hotel and Casino in Nevada. Tomorrow's location will be Golden Mega Paluxy Hotel and Casino in Mississippi. This is Tiffany Young saying, see you next time. Bye for now. Today's Indian Gardens Trivia is filmed in front of a lit studio audience at the Flamingo Las Vegas Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada on behalf of Caesars Entertainment and is created by Black Avery Enterprises and Kayla Alley Worldwide Productions.